offering. I'm making some toast too, if you want some. You've perked up. Mm. What a difference a plan can make. Was that a yes to the toast? Have you spoke to him about it? Well, no, give me a chance. I even thought it up last night. No guarantee he'll go through with it? No, but staying around here is doing his head in. Still doesn't mean he's going to run off with you. Well, obviously. It's, it's up to me to persuade him, innit? And what about Simon? You're just going to take him with you? We need to talk about that. Because Simon's going to want to stay with Leanne, and how's that going to make Peter feel? I mean, where exactly are you planning on going? We need to talk about that, too. Because if you do take Simon with you, that's going to mean starting him into right, a All right, all right. There's some fine tuning left to do. Bit of beats going around in circles doing nothing. Like a clear break away from here, we might have a chance. Yeah, OK, thanks. Bye. What did the police say? That it's up to us to decide what we want to do. We can either go in and make a statement and they'll look into it, or we can sort it out with her ourselves. So what do you reckon? Well, I thought we'd agreed that we'd report her. Yeah, absolutely. Because she put us through hell. Fizz, I'm not disagreeing. Because if you've woke up with second thoughts... No, I'm just checking we're still thinking the same, that's all. Right. I won't put it past you to bottle out. You're too soft for your own good sometimes. Yeah, well, not on this. She needs to pay for what she's done. Right, then. Good. we better get to the police station, then. What, this morning? Oh, we might as well. The sooner we start, the sooner she gets what's coming to her. Well, I'm going to have to go and tell Luke. You are doing this because you want to, aren't you? Because if you're just doing of it to make I me happy... Of course I want to. She was trying to split us up. And if she'd have done that, then... I won't be a minute. Yeah, OK. Right, that's me done and dusted. Oh, it looks lovely, Anna. Thank you. Ah, oh, thanks. Right. I better get off to cafe. Oh, don't work too hard, eh? <laughs> See ya. Bye. Ta-ra. ta loves. So, <clears throat> come on, then. What's the latest? Mm. Rebedroom douse in Charlton? Well, I can hardly have a baby in that poky little flat, can I? Can you imagine? Look in the plumbing pushchair up and down them stairs every day. Yeah, well, I can see that. Bit of a drive to work, though, isn't it? Yeah, but it'd be worth it, wouldn't it, for the fresh start we get? He's got to move forward somehow. Rehab didn't work. It's the only thing I've got left. Get him away from here. New surroundings. New baby. And what does he make of all this? Well, um, I might have mentioned that, you know, we... Need a bigger place eventually, but I just thought I'd, uh, I'd see a few places on the house first. If he finds out you're looking at houses. Morning. Morning. Buying a house? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, Tina, love, I need to nip out this morning, so you'll be all right, yeah? Yeah, yeah, sure. And also, we need some stuff from the shop, so I'll do your list, yeah? OK. Yeah, leave it with me. Oh, would you prefer the greeting without mention of your name? Sorry? Well, some people like the friendly approach, others find it over-familiar. Really? Yes, I, I used to find in the medical centre that a lot of older people used to feel the right to use their first name had to be earned. Whatever. In fact, I was thinking of sending out a questionnaire asking members how they'd like to be addressed and acting accordingly. What, so you'd have to remember...? Well, uh, youngsters like Katie might find it difficult, but I wouldn't. I was brought up on rote learning. Has a lot to recommend it, though uh, modern teachers wouldn't agree. Well, if you think it's a good idea... Well, yes, I'll put something together, shall I? Uh, all right, but... Lovely. Checking in, Liv. Yeah. Don't see you here often. Well, I know I said I'd never join a gym, but you can't sit around eating chocolates all day, can you? <laughs> what should we like to? Mm. Well, that got you organised, the uh, questionnaire. Oh, right, whether I like it or not. <laughs> well, I don't envy Katie having to memorise all that lot. Well, I wouldn't worry. You know, a lot of these blue sky initiatives get sidelined on the quiet. Yeah, but you have to make your staff feel valued, you know. Yeah, well, I'll let her down gently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It's put them the talk of the street, am I? I've cancelled all your appointments for this week. I mean, the ones that David and me can't do anywhere. Right, so I am then. Oh, well, I heard some crack from Norris as I walked by. But the day he doesn't comment about something, then you know the world's come to an end. You won't be the only one, though, will I? Sweetheart, everybody that knows you will be very understanding. I agree. 
They know what you've been through with Marcus. You only cheated on me, Audrey. It happens to people every day. Don't go around doing what I did, do they? Oh, come on. It's far more complicated than that, and you know it. You know it. Who cares what Norris says? What Tyrone and Fizz think that matters, isn't it? Did you not get the text? Yeah, I've got your text. Just, just come here. Look, I can't just drop everything, OK? Every time you want to talk to me. Anyway, if Rob sees us, I'm... you moving. What? I saw Carl and Michelle this morning with the state agent details. And Michelle was telling Carl that she can't do anything behind no, her hang back. on. This morning? Yeah. So you didn't know anything about it? No, just... So she tells Michelle and not me. Look, Peter, I won't just text you, because I've got nothing else better to do. I mean, she did talk about upsizing at some point, but that was just general, you know? OK, wait till I see her. No, then she'll know it's come from me. I don't think so. OK. Look, I've got to be back, all right? But I've got to break it, too. Show me in my flat. Oh, I don't know. Look, I'm, I'm really busy. Look, I've got things to say, Peter. I can't exactly see them on here, can I? OK, I'll, I'll see what I can do. All right. Mm -hmm. Man, if we join you. Uh, don't we see enough of me at work? I do. There's nowhere else to sit. Besides, I'm fresh out of hospital. I might peg it if I stand any longer. Uh, yeah. Go on, then. Well, thank you. I was going to sack you today, but now I'll wait until tomorrow. You'll have to run off with the petty cash today instead, then. <laughs> don't tell him. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> have you heard about this bust-up between Tyrone and Maria? What's that? Well, Norris said that Julie said that Maria has been sending Tyrone texts pretending to be Kirsty. Who? Yeah. Gary was with before. Uh, she used to be tomorrow. Why would Maria pretend to be Kirsty? I got fixated or something, trying to split him and fizz. Oh, so that's who the new mystery man was. No, I can't believe Maria would do something like that. I'm just passing on what Mark said. Yo, Kirk, is it true about Maria? I've been out. What? She was brought this on, doing the dirty under like that. Yeah, what's it got to do with him? That's when it all started. She went to pieces after that. So that's an excuse to destroy someone else's relationship? Well, you'd know all about that. Yeah. Right. Don't start dragging me into it. If you'd kept your grubby little paws off Loverboy here, everyone would still be happy. It's not my fault Maria's turning into a nut job, is it? God. Don't call my sister a nut job. Thumping Kirky. I'll thump them both in a minute. You're not a full shilling either. Must run in the family. Oh, you won't say that to my face. I just did. <laughs> you numpty. Hey, 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 what's going on? All right, calm down. You've been winding her up, flaunting him in front of her. What? Ladies, ladies. Hey, you, be careful. I'd quit while you're ahead if I were you. Out now if you're going to fight. Go on. I thought he started it. You started it when you crawled back here, then him. <laughs> right, come on out now, all of you. Well, we haven't done anything. No, but the rest of you, go on. Go on. Out. Right. You can come back, all of you, when you've learned how to behave. Now something, Kirky. Yeah, come on, Kirk. Do what she says. We're not doing this. Scaredy cat! What are you doing? Because Kirk's right. This is all my fault. What? None of this would have happened if it wasn't for me. Come on. Well done, Kirky. That saw him off. Maria Connor? Yeah? PC Brew and PC Swinton. Weatherfield Police. I'm dead proud of you standing up to him like that. It's lucky Marcus dragged him away when he's dead. Mm. Hey, Ty! Careful, love, this could be tricky. What's he after? I don't know, but I can guess. Don't be too hard on Maria. I know she's done wrong, but she's been in a bad way. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. But she wants to apologise, but she's scared of upsetting you. Are you for real? I'll at least hear her out. You're wasting your breath, Kirk. I know you're a mate, but... Hey, what's going on here? Maria! What's happening? What do you think? Come on, for some kind of mistake. Just stand aside, please, sir. But I'm a brother. Leave it, Kirk. Is this your doing? This is what she does. She takes control. I mean, it's like when she gave me 49... 49% of the factory. OK, she gave me the other 1% Peter, eventually. you can't live like this. No, I know that. But what, what can I do? You move away. With me. I'm being serious. Move? Move where? Does it matter? You can't just... Where would I work? Well, where would I? Where would we live? What about Simon? Well, we'd have to work that out. I mean, what have you got around here? She's sucking you into life that you don't want. Rob's going to rumble you at any minute. Well, you're right. If we make a run for it, what do you say? I, I don't know if I'm in the right frame of mind to make that kind of decision. You've got to do something, all right? <sighs> Things are only going to get worse if we hang around here. Right. This might be our only chance.
Mia Kala, I need to know about tonight. These. I'll give them to her then. Really? Well, it's hardly going to break the bank, Trace. You're not still worrying about Carla? Listen, Peter has been here many times before. He'll bounce back. He always does. My favourite crooks. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a radio for the builder's yard office. One of them digital jobs, you know? Yeah, hey, mate, 45 quid. <laughs> Well, it cost you 80 on the high street, that. It's genuine DAB, it's great sound. Why do I always get suspicious when I hear the word genuine? <laughs> 25. <laughs> Haggling is so demeaning, don't you find? I've told you the price. All right, then. 30. 45, just take it or leave it, yeah? I'll leave it if you're feeling like that, then. Bye, then. Well, you can't just walk in here like it's his private lucky bag. Oh, would it have killed you to give him a bit of a discount? He's brought loads of business our way. Which is exactly how it stays, Trace. Business. Interesting. Hmm? Another major player in the gym business, up and get spending. Amid growing signs of low cost, operators increasing their market share. Those guys in Dragon's Den better watch their backs for you around. Which means, as I've told you several times before, we're in a growing market. You should be excited. So how much are these low-cost operators increasing their market share by them? Yeah. Five percent? Ten? Twenty? How do you know we'll be affected, huh? Have a lemon drop. A little of what you fancy. Does she good, I always find. Provided you keep the little, of course. Hey, hey. <laughs> so, uh, how is Gail's questionnaire coming on? <sighs> I dread to think. Mm. You might live to regret that one. <laughs> you all right? Never better. Anyway, best get off. Try. See ya. So that's what's on your mind. I thought you were going to forget about her. Oh, it's hard when she's everywhere I turn. I suppose it doesn't help being personal trainer to the man she's still married to, I expect. They've been apart for ages. It gets easier with time. No, I've not been drinking. Oh, well, I've got just a thing to cheer you up. Found this. It's a house in Chalton. I think we should go and have a look at it. When did you find this? Well, I, I walked by the estate agent window yesterday. It's been on for some time, so it's open to office. So why didn't you tell me before? Because I wasn't sure how serious I was. What do you think? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. We can't have a baby here, can we? Well, why not? Because it, it's not big enough. Because we need a garden. Because you need a brand new fresh start elsewhere. We, we, we could wait till after it's born. You can't really want to stay here. Well, I'll stay here. Then you go and live there. Peter, you really have to get off this self-pity trip now because we need to move on. Unless, of course, you've got something to tell me. No. Yeah, because, you know, now's the time to spit it out. No, it's not. It's nothing. So shall we need you, then? Yeah. Yeah? OK. How's it feeling? Not too bad. You'd have thought it. A couple of weeks ago, I was at death's door. Just don't overdo it. Nice little learners, these gyms, aren't they? I mean, you could walk outside for free and you'd actually get somewhere. Yeah, in your case, the pub and the chippy. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's doing me good, I suppose. Bill them weight machines next. You do know that free weights are better for you than machines, don't you? Hawk at Jessica Ennis. Yeah, they, they make you use your muscles more, you know, to control the weight and range of motion. I think you've lost me there, Gail. Well, you burn more calories. Helps strengthen your core as well. I see. Who told you this, girl? You're a very clever son, Mr. Nazir. You know that personal trainers adapt things depending on the client. 
At least that makes sense. So how do you know what you're saying applies to Lloyd? I could just double check that. Might be an idea. You could warm to Sharif. You could. I don't think the gradient on this machine is steep enough. Hey, you leave that alone. Not having you ending up back in hospital. What would they do without you, eh? Evening. Hey. Busy water for me, please. Uh, the lime and soda, plenty of ice. <laughs> no worries. Listen, I think I might just nip out for a quick sip. You've only just got here. Yeah, I know, but I, you know, I can't smoke at home. I can't smoke at the factory, so anyway, I'm sure you two's got plenty to talk about. Five minutes. Oh, what a great style, okay. Mm -hmm. Cheers, baby. In business and pleasure till death do us part. It's a good feeling to be making money. Oh. The best. Just when you think you're enjoying yourself. Look, whatever you think about him, we've got to be nice, OK? Guess what I found down the precinct? For 35 quid. Your radio. Ah, oh, you saved yourself a tenner. You can buy me a drink. Oh, you got the mouth, but have you got the bottle? What can I get you? Just a lock, please, darling. No problem. No glass, though. Don't need that. Cheers. Bottle for what? There's a brand load of electrical goods gonna go missing this week. Ooh, now that sounds interesting. Mm, that's a big markup we're talking about once it's offloaded. Obviously. Only you have to drive the van. Get the gear in it. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> then there's no deal. Look, buying stuff is one thing, but why don't you just get one of your scally mates to do it? If we're gonna go on doing business, you're gonna have to get your hands dirty now and again. It's called sharing the risk. I wouldn't give you a discount on that radio. So I'm right, you haven't got the bottle. No, no, I just happen to have a few brain cells between my ears, mate. Mm. I know that. One lager. Cheers. Final answer? Sorry. Who does he think he is? Going. You know what I think? I think this kid will be the making of you. What do you mean, like Simon was? You didn't have Carla then, did you? Look, you're not getting a better offer. Yeah? Sure about that. Tina's asked me to move away with her. What? Yeah, well, that solved me problem on which one to choose then, doesn't it? Hang on a minute, Peter. Carla's your wife, and she's carrying your child. Yeah, and if I was normal, not just some drunk that destroys everything that he touches, I'd agree. Yeah, it's a no-brainer. Fact is, I don't deserve her. Oh, you know what? That is such a cop-out. Oh, Steve, you, you don't know the half of it. Rob's on to me. How does he know? It's a long story. But just believe me, OK? I mean, he can't prove anything yet, but he knows that there's something going on. So it's just a matter of time, is it? Yeah, it is. Before he rumbles me, or Carla rumbles me, or Tina finds out that Carla's pregnant, you see, either way, I'm stuffed. So moving away with Tina, before that happens, it's... That's a way out for me. All right, so you don't mind ruining her life, then? Because you keep saying that if you stay with Carly, you destroy her. Well, what's to stop you doing the same to Tina if you're such a liability? Because it's a fresh start for me. Oh, yeah, Peter, until you start drinking again and looking at other women, and then you'll really hate yourself, won't you? I mean, what is it you want? I, I don't know, Steve. I want Carla, but that isn't going to happen. The truth is, they're both better off without me. You need to stay here. And you need to do what you know is right. Oh, look. There you go. Oh, Mummy! Darling. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Audrey. He's had his tea, love. Why don't you go and brush your teeth and get your gym jams on? And Mummy read you a nice long story. How was it? Just asked me to make a statement, so I did. So what did you say? Just told the truth. OK, what happens next? Well, it all depends on Tyrone and Fizz and whether they're going to press charges or not. They won't go that far. Yeah, well, I agree with Kurt this time. I mean, it's one thing to report you because they were blazing mad, but to take it any further, I mean, well, that could go on for months on end. You didn't see the hate in their eyes. 
Well, surely they can see how much you're punishing yourself. I mean, this is only going one way, if you ask me. Hey. Well? Let's do it, yeah. You mean it? Yes, I mean it. <gasps> oh, Peter, you won't regret this. Hope you won't either. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, but we need to move fast, yeah? Whatever. Okay, yeah, didn't, didn't you say you used to live in Portsmouth? I did, yeah. Right, well, I thought we could go there. But I still know people. Yeah, there. we could find somewhere to live, you know, find work. Look, we, we can't really talk here. I have to get back, so let's make a plan tomorrow, OK? We can leave the day after. Or, you know, soon, soon as we can. Yeah, yeah, that, that's fine. Peter, we're going to be so happy. And you're going to be well again. I hope so. Till tomorrow. I can't wait. And the drama continues in Coronation Street this Friday at 7.30. Will Real Madrid or Atletico Madrid be crowned champions of Europe? Find out in the final live this Saturday at 7. But next, here on ITV, we enter the final battle. It's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1.